So welcome to Whiteboard Marketing, where we simplify marketing with easy to understand whiteboard videos. And today we'll be talking about some common Facebook marketing mistakes to avoid at all cost. Number one, your friends are your enemies. Well, I've seen many marketers just pinging their friends to get that like count up. And it might seem lucrative as well, as you know that your friends gonna like that post for you. But will they be loyal to the updates and buy products or service at the end of the day? Not ideally, right? To be clear, they might like your post once, but in the longer term, they'll start ignoring them as updates are not of their interest. Further, this will kill any organic reach you were hoping for. So just try to focus on getting the content out in the front of right target audience as they can only help you grow in the long run. Number 2. Stay customer focused or die. There's this famous quote by Jeff Bezos that put the customer first, invent and be patient. And you must apply the same to your Facebook marketing efforts. Always try to make the customer experience more delightful and happy as doing so would not only help you increase your brand loyalty but also would help you gain referrals online. One key tool to overcome this rookie classic in digital marketing is by using a marketing funnel. The structure of an ideal one looks like this. It starts from raising awareness gently. The key here is not to talk about your product at the push. Perhaps a simple logo to show who's the boss will too work like charm. Next in the funnel, start talking about your product or service. You can win here by keeping your eyeballs on value, content and information that you provide. Employing the use of highly shareable content like podcasts or videos will help you stand apart from your competition. Up next is the difficult part. Now you have customers that can buy in and will pay attention to what you put in front of them. Casual call to action like free trials or signups are your go-to ploy here. But be aware, as this is expensive if prospects don't know about your brand. So you must ensure that previous steps on your funnel help your customers educate. Number 3. Shortcuts can kill. Here's one to completely avoid like play. Buying fake followers and using an auto-like script. These scripts can lower your page quality score and even decrease organic reach making it difficult to gain attention of your followers. That's why instead of searching for a geeky hack, you should seriously try developing quality content as it works great in the long term. Number 4. Targeting is everything. Let me give you a success mantra if you don't already have one. Bad targeting is equal to higher cost and lower engagement, while good targeting is equal to lower cost per click and higher intended actions. So getting it right is literally the difference between exponential up sales chart versus sales chart as flat as a pancake. And that's why you should focus on developing personas and envision specific members of your target audience based on their location, gender, interest and other brands they interact with on social media and then make accurate targeting plan which aligns with this. Further, I'll also recommend you to set up a lookalike audience in your ad manager and employ the use of pixels while running your campaigns. Number 5. Keep them keen or you'll lose them. Okay, let's just say that you have gone ahead and nailed targeting, but what should you be serving to captivate and inspire your audience to care about your product or service? Honestly, for this, you need to put a little more focus on your sales funnel and encircle your effort to educate your audience, entertain your audience, and then be useful to them. Number 6. Value your feedback. As a brand, there are times when they have just forgotten about maintaining a face on social media and not treating their customers right. Well, to make it worse, there are competitors waiting to latch onto your brand's mistake. And as a marketer, you need to accept this fact that negative feedback is inevitable. When that happens, brands can either ignore it, fight back or take it in stride. Some brands take the shortcut by simply deleting or ignoring the negative comments. This might seem like an easier way out, but it only does more harm than good. Number 7. Account your ad objective. The ideal Facebook ad is the one that flashes your product in front of the right person who's ready to buy and who immediately clicks through your site and makes a purchase. Unfortunately, we don't live in that ideal world, so you may have to settle for a lead. Regardless, 
brand ads should generate measurable results either cash in the bank or valuable contact information that sales team can use to follow up and close a sale so when creating a facebook ad campaign try to think over the available choices when you decide on advertising objective as by choosing the wrong objective your advertising efforts could lead to an unsuccessful campaign Number 8 to sell every time. Too much selling beats the purpose of being on social media. Brands should at times resist from selling and focus more on user experience, building a community and providing value. That way users remain loyal and increase their spending potential to your brand through the law of reciprocity. Number 9 Ignoring advanced Facebook advertising. Advertising on Facebook does not end with clicking boost post and many of the marketers need to know that. For instance, you could create a lookalike audience based on subscribers you already have on your mailing list who are on Facebook and send targeted ads to them. The true potential of Facebook advertising cannot be quantified as brands should take specific steps in creating ads that offer incentives while achieving business goals. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and delivered value. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to stay updated on future uploads.